Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at a technique that developers are using to push unwanted Chrome extensions onto visitors. Uh, this technique is to use a site that when a visitor goes to, uh, will say that you must add this extension to leave, that you um, need to add this extension or you won't be able to save your work, or some sort of uh, message that um, kind of tries to trick them into installing the extension. So I, I found one this morning, let's take a look at it real quick. So it uh, gives us some nice little speech, extension. and when we try to cancel out of this, it gives us a full screen and kind of gives us this add extension prompt. Now this is actually an image, so it doesn't do anything. You can't click on any of these buttons. So unfortunately when this happens, sometimes these pages freeze. So uh, I'm pressing OK, nothing happens. I'm going to refresh. Nope. Okay. Click add button. And we're going to press OK extension. this time. So now we have... Um, an extension called Web Friend being promoted. And these, these extensions um, are created almost every day. So uh, there's a constant stream of these kind of extensions. And when you click on the Add Extension button, it will install the extension. The icon for the extension will be transparent. So you can't really see anything or it will be like a solid pixel. So it, don't, you, people really don't even know the extension's installed. So let's click on web friend and see what it is. Um, web friend, your friend in the world wide web. All right, great, very useful. So um, let's let's take a look at what this extension does. Uh, close out of here. So here's the extensions folder. And this is the extension that was just installed. If we take a look at what this thing does, It has permissions to pretty much um, do a lot of different things here. And it has two scripts, brand 67JS and background 67JS. So let's take a look at those. Um, so here we see a variable called G search URL and it's pointing to a uh, URL at cleverfine.com. And if we look at this one, the background script, this is the main logic of the script, of the, of the extension. And basically what it does is it checks, it compares the current URL to this list of regular expressions. And if there's a match, it will then redirect to this cleverfine.com URL. And that's right here. Um, so um, as you see, it's a redirect URL. It takes this G search URL and replaces search terms with the query that was done on the other search page on the, on the real search page. So for example, uh, Google, my way, Bing and Yahoo, um, will have their queries instead redirected to this URL. So let's give it a try. So go to bing.com. And we're just going to type test. And it redirects to us.search.yahoo.com. Now, that is not the URL that was listed here. But if we go into and open up Fiddler, and we go back to Bing, and let's get rid of all these requests because we don't need to see it right now. And now we're going to search again for test. As you can see, it sent the request to cleverfind.com, which then redirected to search.yahoo.com. And the reason why they're probably doing this is the developers probably have a deal with Yahoo. This is you know, not 100% confirmed, but it's just my theory that they have a deal with Yahoo and that they get a revenue share on advertisements that are displayed. So let's try this with, uh, what was the other one, myway.com. And we're going to search for spyware removal. Once again, redirects to search to yahoo.com. Lots more ads here. So uh, theoretically, if they clicked on these ads, um, a visitor clicked on these ads who had this extension installed, they would 
um, benefit, the developer would benefit from a revenue share. Um, so that's kind of how these things work, and we're seeing a lot of them. We're seeing um, almost these these extensions rotating daily with new names or every other day um, where you click on, uh, a visitor goes to a site, they get redirected or they have adware installed and they get a, a pop-up that shows the site. They don't know how to get out. They don't realize they can just close the window. They press add extension and now they have this, this unwanted extension redirecting all their searches to Yahoo when, when they didn't ask for that. So, um, unfortunately it's not much they can do other than be educated and learn to, uh, just close a browser. If you see a weird pop up or weird scam or some, something strange that just doesn't make sense, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to follow us and subscribe on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else we are. All right. Have a good day.